see if you are given some regular expression like so how you can construct the fa for this regular expression and this means i'm talking about the deterministic so far we have discussed actually all we have discussed the that was the deterministic cases so de deterministic finite automatic so also you can say dfa instead of fa we can say dfa so when i say fa it means you should assume that i am talking about the finite deterministic finite automaton and dfa is more clear in d means deterministic finite automaton why this is deterministic because you know that from every state for every input you know we have to go your machine need not to decide means you tell the explicitly your machine then <clears throat> for which input you have to go to which places so that is the case of determinism that's why in case of the fa we have the transition function which says that you have the some state and from that state you are taking some input and you have to go to some your machine can go to some state so this is the transition function means from every state for every input you need to tell the machine where to go so this is the case of determinism means once you explicitly mention for all situations and you don't let the machine to decide then this is the case of deterministic finite so how would you construct the fa for this regular expression 1 1 plus 1 1 0 clean star 0 so <clears throat> you can for this regular expression you can list some strings so what is the smallest one the smallest one is zero you know this is the zero because this can be null and this is zero and star clean star means you can repeat just like a loop means first you need one one then it may be the one one and finally you have to concatenate with zero so this can be one sentence or you can say this one one zero one one zero then final zero this is this can be the strings now you can also repeat one one again you can have one one because you can repeat this case and then final you can go for zero or you can go one one zero again one one zero then final you may terminate with zero so this kind of strings are there in this language and we need to construct the finite automaton for this language so you are you have to ensure that the smallest string you need to accept is zero then accept this every string start with one no string is starting with zero except the smallest one when this is zero then it is only you have only single zero nothing else so <clears throat> your fa actually strings begins with one and every string is going to end with either one or you can have the double zero either single zero or you have the double zero and this you need to ensure so <clears throat> how we can construct the fa for this case so let you can start from any state so this is the initial state we have the q0 and now you have the two situation you can go for the input 0 and then you can go for the one so if you are at q0 and you have the input 0 like this so where you can go let, let you are going to the state q1 and for this input 0 now see <clears throat> if your string begins with 0 once you are at the q1 you know that you have the single zero because the only way to remember the information in case of the if by means of state transition so whenever you are at the q0 and you are receiving zero input zero your if goes to the q1 and once you are at q1 means you have received single zero and you know that this is the valid string in your language and that's why this will be the final state you can make it a final state so you can double circle so this will be the final state 
Now, <coughs> instead of zero, you can give the transition for all possible input here. So you can give for the one also. So whenever you have say one, if you have one, you, you we are going to the state Q2. This is the Q2. So <coughs> see, whenever you have the one, you are going to the Q2. Let, next we will see. Now you can give the transition for these two states also. So whenever you are at Q1, and if you get one here, whenever you are getting one, this means this is not the string you have machine has come to know because no string is begin with zero. And if you have only, if, if it begins with zero, then you must have only the single zero. So <clears throat> after this zero, machine don't want any such input because this, this is the smallest one. So whenever you are having one, if you are getting one here, or even you can get zero also. So either you can get zero or you can get one because we know that after th this machine don't want any such input. And if this is the case, if you have some further input zero or one, then you can machine immediately decide that, okay, we cannot, this is not in the language. So it goes to some state, like say this is the state Q3. And this Q3, once machine is at Q3, then it decides that, okay, it, it should not go to any final state because whatever it is going to accept now, either zero or one, it should remain in the same place. And this is the non-final <coughs> non state. So <clears throat> this is the situation. Once you have single zero, machine knows that, okay, this is the only input we have. Machine don't want further input, but whenever you are, having the somebody gives zero and one if then this is the, clearly this is not in the language so machine comes to the q3 and from q3 it can receive any input zero or one it remains in the same place because machine explicitly decides now whatever you are going to re give this is not in the language so the strings that begins with zero and further some input it is not in the language so this is over now from the state q2 <coughs> if you are at state q2 and you can have zero so see that you can see the input strings you must have double one you should not have one then zero you must have double one then you can have zero so if you are at q2 and once you are at q2 your machine knows that you have read one in input which is one and after that if you are getting zero then this means this is not in the language and machine goes to the q3 and this is non accepting state and remain in the same state q3 for whatever input zero or one now whenever you are at q2 and getting further one so okay you can go to some state say this is the state q4 so for the input one, this is the, you are going to the state Q1, uh, Q4, this is the Q4. So you have the one. Now <clears throat> you have given the transition from Q2 for zero and one. Now you can give the transition for the state Q4. So whenever you are at Q4, you may have zero. Once you have zero, then it is one, one and zero. And this is in the language. You have one 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 zero is in the language, but for zero you should not go to the final state this because once you go from Q four if you go to Q one then from Q one you you can get again one one say for example then your machine goes to this place and says that this is not in the language and but the, this is string is in the language. So whenever you have the one one, then for zero, you can go to say, say some state Q5, this is Q5, and this can also be the final state. So for the zero, you are going to the Q5. Now <clears throat> from Q5, if you have the situation, if machine is going to 
take this input 110 so you have the 110 and then further 0 and once you have the further 0 double 0 whenever you have the double 0 then you come to know that this is the end of the string and no no string in this language have further input after the double 0 so whenever you are at q5 if you have the input 0 then you can go to the state safe version you have the q1 and q1 is the final state and we don't want further input if you have some input it means that testing is not in the language so you can come to the q3 now <clears throat> once you are at q5 you may have 110 this is also valid string so you are in the final state or you can say that 11 then further 11 you can have so you have 11 then again you can read 11 so if you are at the state q4 for 0 you are going to the q5 for the case of 1 you have to come to the q2 so this is for the 1 so <clears throat> 1 1 then again you if you need you can again repeat 1 1 again you can repeat 1 1 or you can repeat 1 1 and 0 and then further 0 so this is the so you any number of times you can repeat 1 1 or you can 1 1 and then 1 1 0 once you are at here for 0 you are going to the state q1 whenever you have the 1 this means you have 1 1 0 then again if you have 1 it means with the intuition that you are re repeating again so you should come to the state q2 for the case of 1 so you can 1 then again 1 for q4 then 0 so 1 1 0 also you can repeat or you just you can say 1 then 1 and 1 1 you can also repeat 1 1 so any combination either you can have you can say 1 1 0 then final 0 or 1 1 then again 1 1 then 1 1 0 then final 0 like this or 1 1 0 then 110110 you can repeat so <clears throat> now transitions are over for every state you have decided for q2 for 0 and 1 where to go from q4 this is the q4 and you know that for 0 you are going to the q5 and for 1 q2 from q5 you are coming to the q2 and for 0 you are coming to the q1 so this is the fa this is the fa for the language whose regular expression we can the language which can be described with the help of the regular expression 11 one one plus 110 one one clean star then final concatenation with 0.